Welcome back. As we get closer to the November election, we'll be talking to candidates on the ballot here, live on the air. Today, we have Republican candidate for the Missouri House District 47, John Martin here with us today. John, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Thank you, Marissa. Why don't you um, start by telling our viewers a little bit about yourself? Sure, uh, John Martin, I'm a small business owner. My company is uh, Pro Pumping and Hydrojetting. We're a local uh, popular company that does uh, dirty jobs. Uh, yeah. We rescued a lot of people with pumping septic tanks uh, on Christmas Eve, things like that. So we enjoy that. I'm also a former pastor. I'm a father, uh, husband. I've had, uh, four, we have four children. Three have graduated from Hickman. Uh, one is a sixth grader and uh, I'm a, a member of the Columbia Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I'm an investor in Ready Regional Economic Development and I'm a, a baseball coach out of Daniel Boone Little League. So so I enjoy that and also volunteer with uh, 4-H and do a lot of work with agriculture. Excellent. Well, your campaign focuses a lot on public safety. Um, so what can you do to make our communities safer if you're elected? Public safety. One thing we need to make sure that we do not defund, you know, our public safety agencies, uh, obviously with, you know, highway patrol, obviously local, you know, you know, police. And that is all, you know, one big picture. If we have, if we have uh, safe communities, then we have people that want to, you know, come, you know, you know uh, want to move here. Uh, job opportunities, uh, good schools, things like that, that all works together. Very, very important. Well, I asked your opponent this uh, yesterday, so I'll ask you as well. What's your position on abortion? I'm a, a pro-life candidate. Yes, yeah, very much a pro-life candidate and think that's, uh, that's an important position. I think of stories, for example, like of Tim Tebow. Uh, Tim Tebow, his mother, when he was pregnant, when she was pregnant with him, uh, uh, the doctor said, you know, there, uh, there's some complications there. You may consider an abortion. She said, no, we're not going to do that. Brought the baby to term, and now we have Tim Tebow. And uh, those are examples. Of, so we're, you know, I'm a pro-life candidate. Do you support um, Governor Parson's new tax cuts that were just passed? Yes, I th yes, I do. Yeah, that's an example of where uh, I believe that government, uh, that we need to have a limited government, and when there's excess funds, those are the people's money. That's the people's money, and do, you, know, you know, to return that, I think that's a great economic principle. Okay, so we know there are new boundaries in District 47 now. Right. How do you think this will affect the race this time around? Uh, that he yeah, had the new boundaries. Um, I think it's a great opportunity for Republicans. Uh, number one, uh, for some of the new area in Columbia, it's a great opportunity for us to uh, contrast our views on the economy, for example, when we get into new areas and talk about Republicans' idea of you know job growth and strong economy. Uh, we have a new area in Sturgeon, so there's you know, uh, we have the agriculture community. So I think it's a great opportunity for me to contrast how, as Republicans, we want to see uh, you know personal responsibility, lower taxes. Uh, we want to see job growth. Uh, we want to see our state move forward with not lots of regulations. Um, I think uh, the Democrats are really struggling right now because they've got uh, President Biden. He you know, chose to uh, cut off our oil, you know, our, you know, oil drilling. So gas prices are through the roof. Uh, inflation's through the roof. And so I think you know, that you know, the Democratic Party is in a lot of confusion right now. And the Republicans have a, you know, the principles of limited government, personal responsibility, job growth, uh, strong education. We've got to support MU, uh, you know, our, you know, our public schools so that they teach kids and those kids come out trained, ready for the, you know, for, you know, for good jobs, you know, you know, good workforce development. So those are all principles that Republicans are pushing, which will help our economy, help our, you know, help our, our you know, our community. Okay. What are some other topics that I, we haven't talked about, but that you want to make sure that viewers know? Sure. Um, I, I'm very much, uh, as far as, you know, I support the Second Amendment. That's important, you know, Second Amendment rights from the Constitution. Um, I, you know, my agriculture background, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the district includes Sturgeon, Harrisburg, a lot of great farmland in, you know, northwest Boone County. And so I support, you know, you know private property rights. We've got to get broadband expansion for our, you know, f you know, more rural families. And so those are some agriculture, you know, emphasis that I'll, you know, have, you know, a background in that I can, you know, you know bring to the table. All right. John Martin, thank you so much for joining us here. Thank you, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much.